Okay. Hi. Hi, everybody. So we are going to do the big book phobia tag. Um, but we each don't have five book, big books that we haven't read. But we figured since there's three of us to cut down on length, we'd each pick two books each. Now, we may have a big book that we have read. Um, but maybe a smaller book that we haven't read. So if we have a big book, we're, we're going to do it vice versa, and I'll explain it. The original tag, which was created by Liz, Liz's Book Buffet, uh, says that you pick five big books, 500 pages or more, that you haven't read, and then you pick five shorter books, 300 pages or less, that you have read, and you alternate each book, and you tell them why you are avoiding the big book, and then you tell them why or what you loved about the smaller book. So if we have a bigger book that we've read, we're going to switch it up and tell them why we loved it and why, you know, we haven't gotten to the smaller book. So, yeah, that's going to be our big book phobia tag. <laughs> I feel like my big book phobia. So it's, it's going to be a phobia tag. Yeah. I guess yeah. you could say. All right, so for me, one big book that I have not read is Warm Peace by Leo Tolstoy. The reason why I haven't gotten to it, now I have read Anna Karenina, and to be fair, I read like three pages of this book, and I feel like I have to reread Anna Karenina because there are some repeat characters in War and Peace, and if you've read any of his work, you know that he introduces a lot of characters, and it can kind of get out of hand, so that is one of the reasons that I'm kind of avoiding this book, is that there's too many introduction, or too many people introduced in like the first third of the book. After about the first third of the book, for Anna Karenina, I started to love it and then when I got to like the the last third of the book I was like zooming through it because it was so good but it's pretty much what I expect to happen to this one but I've <laughs> been avoiding it because yeah. it's been a while since I've read Anna Karen enough so but and then a smaller book that I have read that I liked was The Death of Ivan Ilyich I'm seeing... Also by Leo Toys, Tolstoy. See a pattern here. This book is basically about a man on his deathbed. And what he's going through and his kind of mindset as he's getting ready to kick the can, as they say. Kick the bucket. Kick the can is in name of the game. <laughs> yes. He's going to go pick He crossed can. over the rainbow bridge. <laughs> And, and then another big book that I have not read is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, a novel by Susanna Clark. If you look at the sheer volume of this book, the cover <laughs> is amazing and it looks really like a good book. I have no idea what this book is about. <laughs> I've heard kind of iffy reviews on this book, but... I have so many other smaller books. It's just like, I will put you away until I want to accomplish a big book. And then my smaller book is If Angels Burn by Lynn Vale. It is the first in the series of the of the Darken series. It's about vampires. Really good book. Really good series. I haven't completed the series, but I do own all of them, which I do intend to pick up. But I can't read fast enough. <laughs> well, she also has two other series. Though. She writes a lot. She has a lot of pseudonyms, too. She doesn't have, like, just two or just one. She has, like, five. Um, but, yeah. That's mine. Hola! So, I... I've actually read quite a few big books. Um, the, the one big book, and... and I want to read War and Peace, too. I don't. But first, I think I need to read Anna Karenina. Yeah. And I just, 
I don't know why I can't get myself to just... I feel daunted by it, because I did read Death of Ivan Ilyich in college, and I think I started reading Anna Karenina, and it just, to me, it got daunting. Like, like she says, I mean, he introduces so many characters, it's like, it's hard to keep who's who, who's where, who's doing what, who, you know. So, I, I think it's just, for me, it's just the sheer volume of people to go through. But I will, my goal by the end of the year is to read this book. So stay tuned. I will read this book. Let's see about that. Yeah. <laughs> Considering I've got about 50 other books to read. Now, for, so that's really, the, besides War and Peace, which is the other big book, um, my two small books that I absolutely, now I only have two, I, I could go on for other books, but I'm only going to do two smaller books that I've read that I absolutely love. And I don't physically own these. I have them downloaded on my Samsung uh, tablet, Galaxy, or Samsung Galaxy Tab, tab 3. Thank you. 7 inch. Yeah. Um, the or first the one. Candy. <laughs> Since I keep wanting to call it my Kindle. Um, the first one is by Elaine Vietz is Dying in Style. I mean, these these smaller books that I'm going to be talking about, they are quick reads. But they keep you engaged. And that's what I like about quick reads, is if they can keep me engaged, I'll read them. Um, so that's the first one. And the second one, I like this because, now, the version I have doesn't have it, but um, the physical copies actually have recipes, and that is Cooking Up Murder by Miranda Bliss. I, the, the two main characters, their best friends in this book, just absolutely love the, the chemistry that they have together. Um, the one is kind of introverted. <laughs> And the other one is very extroverted. So, it, you know, I kind of have a connection there with, um, with the characters. Based on real life. Well, we haven't murdered anyone. Yeah. Well, they don't well, murder they're, anyone. They're, they're like, solving a murder. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, it's a cozy mystery. Yeah. So, yeah, those very quickly are my books. Because I tend to read big books anyways. I read the Game of Thrones books. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to attempt them. I really don't. I mean, come on. This is a huge book. I mean, just not including the appendixes, oh it's like God. 900 and something pages. She went through, like, the whole series in, I think, a month. No, two months. Two months? Two, two months. months. It's like 20,000 books. Yes. Loved yeah. it. <laughs> My turn! <laughs> Okay, so I clearly don't have as high of reading standards as they do. Because <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of classic books. The only one I have is Pride and Prejudice, and it's not really, it doesn't hit the mark of being over 300 pages. You mean so the, yeah, 500 pages. So, the big books that I haven't read yet are is The Diviners by Little Bray. This is, like, over 500. Let me see without looking. 578. There's really no reason why I haven't read it. <laughs> just haven't got I'm not daunted by the size. The size doesn't bother me. I just haven't gotten to it because I have a lot of other books I want to read. Mm -hmm. And I have a ton of books on my Kindle, and I just... I'll get around to it <laughs> at some point. Hopefully before the end of this year. So that's the first big book. And then a small book that I've read many times and loved is Odd Thomas by Dean Koontz. This book, this whole series, if you haven't read anything by him, by Dean Koontz, oh my god, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Seriously. His books are amazing. They are adult books, but nothing like, you know, it's not like any like weird hardcore stuff or anything. There's, it, they're creepy. Some are creepier than others, but this, this is a kid, Odd Thomas is his name, and that's his real name. Cool last name. He can see ghosts, and he tries to help them with their problems. 
and he has a sidekick in the first couple books. The ghost of Elvis hangs out with him. <laughs> now, if that doesn't make you want to read it, what's wrong with you? Elvis is hanging out with the kid? Come on. <laughs> the next big book I haven't read is Days of Blood and Starlight by Lanny Taylor. Again, there is no real good reason why I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I just haven't read it. Well, first of all, I just bought this last month. So, that's a reason. I love The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I did start reading this book on my Kindle. I got it from my Kindle and started reading, like, the first five or six chapters. And I totally love it. I just, you know, since I bought it, I haven't got continued, yet, continued it yet. I have other books that I'm reading right now. And another small book that I've read and loved is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. Now, we already have a review on this, yes. up on this channel, it's mm -hmm. already up. But it's about a little girl who gets lost in the woods. <laughs> this book is amazing. Yes. And I have read this, I don't even know how many times. It has to be at least 20 times. Yeah. It, it, it's a really good first Stephen King book. If you've yeah, never read yes. Stephen King and you're afraid and to read Stephen King, this is a very good introduction book. It's creepy, but not... Like Pet Cemetery or Uber it. creepy. I mean, I I have read it even now. If I read it alone in my room sometimes at night, <laughs> I get a little creeped out. Even how many times I've read it, and I'm an adult and all that, you know. But I highly, highly recommend this book. Kind of funny. The girl who originated this tag, she picked the girl who loved Tom Gordon too. See, it's an awesome book, and I don't hear about it a lot. No. Because you hear about all his big popular books, but this one never ever gets mentioned. And it, it needs to be. Yes. And uh, a book that I'm totally never going to ever attempt to read. <laughs> the series? <laughs> I can't even ever. lift it. The Game of Thrones. I mean, I know they're supposed to be awesome. I don't know. It's just, I'm not super into that stuff. I mean, I've seen the first season of the show, and I will probably watch more of it, but I think that's about as far as that goes. <laughs> <laughs> and considering so far what I've watched of the show, how true that they've stayed. Yeah, they've had to change a couple of the names, but they've stayed pretty much true to the books. You could watch the show and basically get the gist of what's going on. Yeah, so, I don't know. But I, just, I know I it's, like, books, all hyped so. up on BookTube, you know, everyone's reading it, and I know they're good books, but... It's just something I don't feel like doing in my life. It's just daunting. <laughs> it, it, it is. I like reading for fun, and if I don't think it's really going to grab me, then I'm just, why bother? You know? Yep. It's like anything else. If you want to do it in your spare time, you got to actually enjoy it. Not do it because everyone else is doing it. Yeah. And I don't, you know, don't always have a ton of time for reading. You should, but you don't. So I want to read what I think I'll like. Bye, camera. <laughs> <laughs>